Hello, everybody. How you doing? Welcome to Bruise Blades. I think this is episode nine or something. I'm gonna stop counting now and just put the date in the thing because I am uh, easily confused. It's my dog barking outside. Hope you guys enjoy that. I'll let a few more people show up here and then we'll get things going. I don't have my hold music ready. I always forget that. Da, 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 da. Let me get my uh, the chat window up here so I can see all of y'all. Still not up here yet. Come on now. There we go. Meet my pooter. And there we go. Hello, everybody. How you guys doing? All right, we got a lot of people in here. Let's get going now. This is Bruising Blades. Welcome, everybody. So glad you all could be here. As usual, sponsored by Weeha. Thank you guys so much for sending us some cool little giveaways. I'll get to the trivia question here in a minute. If you get the trivia question correct, you are going to win one of these sets of little uh, T6, T8, T10 little driver things. They're very, very cool. I have a set of them sitting on my desk, actually, that I use all the time. So, a little trivia question here in a minute. Answer the question right. Do not put it down below. And then you can, uh, out of focus. Somebody said out of focus edition. Mine looks fine. It looks fine on my screen. Um, and then, uh, yeah, you don't put the question in the comments, wait till the video is over, put it in the comments down below and then we'll, I'll explain that 90 more times as this goes on. Um, I'm actually going to, uh, partially disrobe here. I got to take off my little overshirt thing. I was, uh, making sure my office was really, really cool before I started this. Cause once I shut the door, it gets hot and it got hot quick. So that's got to come off. There we go. All right. All right, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. First of all, let's talk about some stuff that's coming up. I have some things right here in front of me. Um, one of the some of the knives we got coming up this week, I'm very excited about. Oh, let's show the beer first. Jeez, I always forget that, and you guys always yell at me, justifiably so, because this knife is about brews and blades, not blaze and brews. And I'm thirsty. We have my gear for life a little thing here. Uh, Brooklyn Pale or Brooklyn Summer Ale is what we're drinking tonight. A seasonal pale ale. This is my go-to summer beer. I love this stuff from Brooklyn Brewery. I bet you can guess which town it's from. Excellent, excellent beer. And I need more knife-related koozies. Anybody wants to send me some knife-related koozies, I would totally show those. So, oh, this stuff is delicious. It's one of my favorites. Uh, let's talk about some stuff that's coming up. In the next uh, couple weeks here on the channel, we lose every couple weeks, so I try and cover what's coming up in that intermediate time. Got some pretty cool stuff in over the last week or so. Going to do some comparison reviews. I'll give you some uh, teasers on those. This is one that I put on my Instagram, but I never put on the channel. This is a uh, Bird Blades uh, Wolf Pup. It's the little bitty, well, kind of little bitty, three inch from Bird Blades made by Wee. This is an awesome, awesome knife. I have not been in a hurry to do a review on this because uh, you can't get them right now. And I spoke to the, the maker and uh, it's not terribly likely they're going to come back again. They might, but I snatched up actually one of the last three. Very, very, very cool. What's my wrist tattoo? It's my kids' names. Uh, yeah, this is, I love this knife. It is awesome. I've been carrying it a ton since I got it and it was only like 200 bucks. It's not bad at all. S35VN, awesome action, especially for the size that it is. And it just feels like a big old Riot or something. But it's a small little knife. I freaking love this thing. If you see one on a secondary market, Wolf Pup, I'm sorry. I think, I don't know what I called it for. A Wolf Pup. Uh, they also make a full size version. Uh, and that's a custom that costs a lot of money. Uh, this was 200 bucks, so um, made by Wee. But man, it feels like a custom. All this carbon and stuff, can't feel the difference. Here's one that I just got in like a couple days ago. In the pass around, this is the new Wii Bullet. Very, very impressed with this. Uh, from the pictures, did not care for it at all. Had no desire to buy one. But now that I got one, man, it's really comfortable. It's got the same finish that my Wasabi has. This kind of polished uh, bee blast that they do. The action on it is super smooth. And kind of its little party trick, it's got this awesome clip with a little roller on it. And man, that thing works. Goes in and out of your pocket super easy. If you bump into stuff, it doesn't pop out as easy. So it's it's freaking cool. I really do like this. Comes into several different colors. I can't remember what the other colors are, but uh, I like this blue one all right. But man, this is this was a surprise that I liked a lot. Uh, 
I haven't only been doing a lot more expensive stuff lately, but we do have a lot of budget stuff coming up. One is the Kaiser Domine. I think some people call it Domin, but I would guess that it's pronounced Domine, but that's just me because I am a pretentious jackass. So, uh, but yeah, this is the new VG10, you know, standard Kaiser Vanguard trim, VG10, G10 handles. Uh, runs on, on uh, bushings instead of uh, bearings like a lot of their knives do. But I really like it. It's kind of like a beefier beg letter, beg lighter, however you pronounce that. Uh, it's, it's kind of like a beefier version of that. And I really do like it. Very blocky looking, but uh, surprisingly comfortable in my hand. Like shockingly comfortable. It's a very, very comfortable cool knife. And I think I will be carrying this quite a bit. It's a really good, I think they're uh, 52 bucks, something like that, 50 some bucks. Yeah, they're really, really nice. Um, what else do we have coming up? Oh, I just got these today, actually, on a Sunday. It's kind of weird to get a priority mailbox on a Sunday, but that is the modern world we live in. A couple of uh, Best Tech prototypes. We have the Mini Emperor and the Parrot. Uh, these are both going to be S35VN when they come out. There's no markings on these. These are prototypes. I have no idea what steel this is. I do have something on my finger, though. That's weird. What is that? Leftover dinner, probably. I'm a gross man, apparently. Uh, very, very cool knives. I especially like this a lot, the Mini Emperor. This is just a smaller version of one of their first knives they made. Standard Best Tech prototype green and bronze stuff. Uh, it'll come in other colors, both of them will. But... And the Parrot's also a very slick little small knife. You can get all four fingers on it if you choke up, which I like a lot. And it's, it's, a, it's a cool, tiny little thing. I took it out of the box, and my wife actually said... Oh, that's cute. And then I went like that. And she goes, oh, that's scary. <laughs> so, I don't know. I, I said, what's scary about it? She goes, I don't know. It just looks scary. I guess it, maybe it does if you're not a knife person. But looking forward to spending more time with those. Just got them this very morning. And I've been busy with some other stuff. Uh, what else do we got? We have, oh, here's a cool one I got you guys will be interested in. This will be a review coming up in just the next day or two. Or I might do a comparison test first with it before I do the full review. This is the new Spyderco Rhino, the Reinhold Rhino. I know a lot of you guys were really, really waiting on it. Um, I wasn't waiting on it because they announced it so long ago that I didn't even know it was coming out. And then everybody goes, oh, it's finally here. And I'm like, the what? But it is cool. Just a nice small little small knife from a Spyderco. I really like it. It will be getting a comparison test for sure against the Spyderco Lil Native. And this may actually be a battle to the death. I know I always call them that, battle to the death, and I don't destroy them. But uh, I'm probably not, I'm still not going to destroy either of them. But I, whichever one wins, I'm probably going to keep, and I'm probably going to sell the other one. So, um, yeah. I, I like this, though. It's kind of crazy looking, but I, it's really comfortable in the hand. Really good slice and blade XHP. It's a Tai Chung Spider Co., which always means they're a little bit nicer in a lot of ways. Their fit and finish is a bit better. Uh, what else do we have coming up for new stuff? Man, a lot of small stuff coming up in the next couple weeks. And Tuya SNS. I did not realize how small this was. I had no idea. Um, I, I never looked on the spec sheet because they make a larger version of it. And I didn't. Somebody said, do you want to be on the pass around group for the two units? And I said, oh, sure. And then I got the box and I was like, what? I didn't realize it was this tiny, but it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool little knife, I have to say. Definitely a watch pocket carry knife. Definitely not something you want to carry for your primary, but very well executed in that. So, um, da, 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 what else? Oh, here's one that you guys are going to be excited about. This is the next two are just comparison tests our undefeated champion in this size category. So a lot of knives in this size category, in this price category, this three and a quarter kind of inch. This thing is never lost. This week, actually tomorrow morning, you are going to see a battle to the death comparison between the Kershaw Natrix carbon fiber and the Steel Will Modus. I have not scored it yet, so we will see how that goes. I'm gonna as soon as I'm done here, I'm gonna record this, and it'll be up at eight o'clock tomorrow morning. So it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting, though. I can tell you because I have liked this way more than I expected. Even though it's got CR13 MOV want want steel, I, this is this is really nice. I also like the Modus a lot, and as I said, it's never lost. So it'll be interesting to see. It'll be interesting to see. You're pulling for the Modus. 
I don't. I have no idea. I have not scored it yet, so um, it's it's always kind of a last minute decision with me on a couple of them. Uh, next ones I'm comparing are the Benchmade, uh, yep, Saibu. Almost forgot what it was called for a moment, and the Wee Vapor. Two more small, classy little knives, both over 200 bucks. Uh, small, classy, expensive little folders. So, yeah. All right, that's it for that. What else did I want to talk about? Um, oh, thank you guys so much for buying so much stuff on the sale. Really, truly appreciate that. Uh, I was going to have a couple more knives coming in over the next couple weeks, but um, uh, my car broke yesterday, and I don't know what that's going to cost me yet. So, I, But I do appreciate you guys bought so much stuff. I did upgrade my camera setup, which is why my phone looks zoomed out a bit more, which uh, I may change that. I'm not sure I actually like it being zoomed out this far, but I got a new cool camera arm and stuff, a uh, uh, Manfredo, I don't remember what it's called, Manfrotto, Manfredo, something like that, but much more stable, so less camera shake and stuff, I hope like that, I appreciate it. Uh, we do still have, or I still have some knives for sale, I think there's five still up there, one of which I'm going to give a little deal right now. Just tonight, I had this up for 120 this is the Benchmade North Fork. Just tonight, if you guys email me, slicedicey75 at gmail.com, the first one that emails me. This thing is brand new, never used. Bought it for a comparison review, decided not to do it. Um, it's it's a fine knife. It's just I don't need another knife in the size category. $100. They retail for $145, I think. So $100. If you email me during the show, first one, slicedicey75 at gmail.com, say you want it. $100. I'll ship it out tomorrow. I got to go to the post office anyway. So, um, I do have some other stuff coming in. I guess I forgot. I did order the uh, Three Rivers Manufacturing Neutron, which I'm super excited about that. Which is basically just a. Uh, I think I have it up here. Yep. Which is basically just a frame lock version or liner lock version of this. So it's nice having this be a nice little flipper. I mean, a thumb stud opener, liner lock version of the Viter and 20 CV steel. I'm really excited about that. I got one of the first eight, I guess. They did an unlimited thing. I hit refresh many, many times, and I made it, and I got it. Um, I have a Tuya Knife uh, Envy. The They did a limited run of 10 of them in normal colors without that weird green and bronze. Um, it's uh, just gray and blue. I got one of those coming. That should be here tomorrow, actually. And then... Um, Oh, and sometime this month, supposedly, I'm getting my Mass Drop uh, Perpetua. Hopefully, fingers crossed, because I'm really looking forward to that one. Have been for quite some time now, but uh, we'll see if I actually if it actually shows up or not. Um, I think that's all that I really, really want to get to. Somebody asked, oh, what happened to my car? Uh, hey, F if I know, I have no idea. It uh, went to go turn the key and everything comes on but nothing happens and the starter motor makes a little bit of noise but not much i don't know if it's battery if it's a cable if it's the starter motor happened on a saturday had it towed not coming up until uh, I, I won't know it's it's at the shop they don't open till tomorrow morning so i'll find out it may be 50 bucks it may be 500 i have no clue how much it's going to cost no the perpetual isn't coming this week it's coming this month so and yeah, I forget that I ordered it too. I did get somewhere, I have it. A nice little, I think it's still here on my desk somewhere. I'm gonna make some noise. Oh, yeah, those of us that ordered early got this nice little thing from signed from TJ. A little signed drawing from TJ Swartz. I guess this was like an apology and I've already got a mark on it, so that's good. Uh, but all right that's cool i guess but um i guess it's a way to kind of prove that you're one of the first runs when you go to sell it but um yeah i kind of rather just hurry up and get the knife um call not email i don't know what that's all about so uh yeah this what yeah ryan i think it's a starter too but i'm not i'm not sure it's making noise but it's not making like the squealing noise like a dead starter so i have no idea i don't know but um yeah so let's just get going and do some question and answer this is probably gonna be a little bit of a shorter one tonight so uh does anybody have any information on the copper ma copper matrix i kind of do i know that they got a bunch of the uh, pre-production ones in and they were not happy with them so uh yeah they're it, it's gonna be a while it's not it's not something that's gonna come out in the next couple weeks that's for sure so yeah 
Let's do the trivia question before we get too much farther, since I'm not sure how long this episode's going to run. The trivia question, for which answering correctly, you will win a set of these Weeha Torx T-handle thingies. I should probably know exactly the name of these since I've given away like eight or ten sets of them. But uh, uh, the trivia question is, and all you have to do is answer, but don't answer here in the live comments. Wait till the video's over and uploaded. Answer in the comments down below, because then I can use the random comment generator to pick somebody. And you will win this this set. Tonight's uh, trivia question is a bit silly. Uh, when I reviewed the Natrix Carbon Fiber, what silly movie reference did I make? Yes, this is a completely blatant effort to get you to go watch that video. But uh, I made a silly movie reference or obscure movie reference to an amazing movie, one of my favorite movies of all time. And I didn't explain what it was. So uh, what movie was I referencing when I made a silly reference in this in this video. I think I said it was a movie reference, but I'm not even sure about that, so. Um, uh, does anyone else want the 0470? Yeah, I, I have the little $5 pre-order thing on the 0470. I, I really, really, really want one of those. That's a very, very nice knife. I love the design of the Atmos. This is, It's bigger than the Atmos, though, for sure. Um, what is your favorite best value knife with good steel, deep carry, and under three inches? Wow. Uh, the deep carry limits it a bit. Uh, I would say probably my favorite value under three inches, right? Actually, no, it's probably a Tangram. I think the Santa Fe is under three inches, and it's got a deep carry. If it's if it's under three inches, it would be the uh, Tangram Santa Fe. Uh, if it's not, I'd probably say... Uh, I guess the the Atmos, even though I really don't like the steel, and I, I like so much else about it right now, and it does come, that one definitely does come deep carry, I know that, so uh, that deep carry qualification uh, changes things a little bit. Jenny Cream Ale. Uh, yeah. I've ate, I think I drank too much of that as a, as a youth and can no longer consume it. Whatever the uh, lifetime allotment of Genesee Cream Ale, um, uh, it is for a human being. I think I hit that by the time I was 17 or 18. So it does It does not go well with my tummy tum now. Let's uh, move some stuff around. Oh, here's something else I got this week. I haven't actually bought it yet, but my buddy sent it to me, and I'm probably going to kind of Viper Fortis. I love Jesper Voxnays. If you guys watch this channel at all, you know I do, and I've never had any of his higher-end stuff. This isn't super high-end, but it's higher-end than any of his other stuff I've had. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. This is a Fortis carbon fiber M390 frame lock. The detent could stand to be a bit stronger, but other than that, I really, really like it. It's even fairly thin behind the edge, which is pretty rare for uh, the Italian ones. They, they seem to be fond of these uh, thick things. And it's got my friend Mike's wonderful edge on it. He does such a good job on these. It's so pretty. Yeah, this is a pretty cool knife. Very slim in your pocket and everything. Doesn't carry particularly low, but um, it's not bad. Yes, it does feel. Oh, what feels good in the hand? He's talking to somebody else. He's Dragonfly. Yeah, the Dragonfly isn't too bad in your hand. I I don't own one. I've almost bought one several times, but then I always wind up getting something else. Oh, um, yeah, the Viper M390 is pretty sweet. I'm quite excited about that. You're drinking water, Kiefer? That's all right. Oh, we'll let, it, we'll let it go this time. It's summertime. It gets hot out. I understand. Um, the blade is my new... I don't know what a Libing Smurf even is. That sounds like something you'd order in an alley in Thailand. Um, You guys are just going on your own conversations here. Anything else you guys want to ask me about? I'm just kind of trying to keep track of the going back through some old stuff on here to make sure. This may be a fairly short episode because I didn't have as much to cover as I usually do. I almost didn't do this tonight because I had to do another comedy podcast, or I'm sorry, a bicycle podcast this afternoon. And it's a whole lot of time sitting here in front of my computer, but, um... You almost bought a ZT-0609 and then bought 
a vector instead. That's that's a big difference. I love the 0609. It's uh it is great. Any interest in the Three Rivers Atlas? You know, I'm a big Three Rivers fan. I'm sure I'll wind up with one. Yeah, it does look cool. Um, what knife am I most excited that, that's for to come out? Um, the 0470 is pretty high up there. The ZT one, that just looks really nice. That looks like Brian's knife. Um, probably most right now is the Riot Jack. I've become kind of a Riot fan lately, and I really, really want to get my hands on that. That's the Integral one. And um, then the uh, probably the Spider Co Amalgam. I'm a little more excited about the Amalgam than the Smock, but uh, I have them both pre ordered. But uh, yeah, I'd say probably the Amalgam. What's my favorite knife I have currently? That changes day to day to day, but uh, I don't have it out right now. It's, it's nestled away in its case. Probably my Wee Wasabi is my favorite at the moment, or my Riot New Torrent. One of those two. Um, Good budget Tanto. I'm not a real Tanto guy, so I, I don't really have much of an opinion on that. So I usually kind of pass them. Um, yeah, the Manix is pretty darn nice. I, I am a big Manix fan. So yeah, if you want a lightweight, especially the lightweights are all under 100. But um, yeah. Actually, let me grab my two favorite ones right now since you guys were nice enough to ask. They're in the same case. It will take but a moment. I keep them all within arm's reach, so. Have I checked out the Cut Jack Mini? I have the D2 Mini Cut Jack, but I don't have the fancy one. Oh, good. Get everything moved around. Yeah, so my favorites right now are these two. These are probably my two favorites that I own, are my Wasabi and my New Torrent. Love them, love them, love them both. So uh, if you could get, yeah, you know, the Manix is definitely one of the most ergonomic knives, especially like me, I have long fingers. So um, yeah, it's really, um, it's just the way my hand wraps around it. It works really well. If I could get any sharpening system, what would it be? Oh, probably a Kami. Um, I don't own any really nice ones right now. I do have a uh, cheaper Lansky that I don't hardly even use. I mostly just keep everything touched up on a Spyderco Sharp Maker. I need to invest in a better one and at the same time learn how to freaking use it. So that's going to be a thing. But uh, I, don't, I don't want to actually get a nice one until I take the time to learn how to do it. But I'm leaning very heavily towards a KME. They look, uh, they look pretty good. Maybe a Wicked Edge. Those also look pretty cool. Um, cut jack is wonderful. Liner lock sucks. Spine wet and clothing. I, I I don't agree with that at all. I've got a lot of liner lock uh, um, steel wheels. Never had a problem with any a single one of them. Uh, yeah, it sounds like you got a bad one. Um, am I keeping my CT six oh nine? Oh yeah, for sure. That's definitely a keeper. I really really like that a lot. It's just so slim and. Um, it's it's not, it's it's always one of my most carried knives just because it's nice and slim and it's a good size and it's pretty and satisfying to use. I just wish they'd get me my goddamn uh, tool for it so I can open it up because I'd like to adjust the detent just a just a smidge on it and I can't because I can't get the freaking thing apart because I don't have this special stupid tool. Any thoughts on the Spider Coast Smock or Capara? Um, the, I have a pre-order for a Smock. Uh, Kapara doesn't really speak to me that much. Um, yeah, the silver is a nice, and the 0609 clip, it is a nice bit of a contrast to all the bronze, but trust me, it looks way better with the bronze. There's still enough silver, the blade's silver, the screws are silver. It looks way, way better with that, so, um. People always disparage their hometown brews, don't they, Slicey? No, I love, I love a lot of Genesee, I just don't like, uh, cream ale. No, I like, uh, my favorite is uh, they do Jenny Bach. I don't know if they do that outside of New York, but uh, if they distribute outside of here. But the um, the Jenny Bach that comes out over the winter is freaking fantastic. And I'll take a regular plain old Jenny any day of the week. I just don't like Jenny Light or the Cream Ale. I actually, I actually ate at the Genesee Brewery just uh, last week, actually. Very, 
best uh, pretzel sticks in town. And as a comedian who works in a whole lot of bars, I am a connoisseur of pretzel sticks and cheese dip. And I can say Genesee Brew House in Rochester has the best I've ever had. Um, uh, yeah, let's do the trivia question again really, really quick. Uh, we're going to... It, the trivia question is, and you will win, Sweeha Torx tool set. And the trivia question is, in my review of the... Put it aside. Kershaw Natrix Carbon Fiber. What was the movie I was referencing during that? I made an obscure movie reference. What was that, too? It's, this is kind of a silly little question. It's not as, as uh, easy as the other ones, but I do believe someone caught it and um, commented in the comments. So if you want to cheat, you can just look in the comments. But um, I think a couple people may have said something about it. Ever done any comedy shows in or around Atlanta? Yeah, I think I did do Atlanta once. I think I did. I don't know. They all blend, blend in together. I've been to Atlanta several times, and I think one of those times was for that. So, um... Uh, but, uh, the M390 dividend isn't on sale currently, but they're going to be. Yeah, they're going to be out again. Uh, that's something I, I talked to somebody at Kershaw, and they said whenever they get a batch of M390 in for cheap, they'll make another run of the... They'll just go down the row, and they get it fairly regularly. So that's something that's going to kind of come and go every year or two, which is great. I, I love those things. So You get a knockout instead of a Kershaw Dividend and M390, they're two totally different knives, BP69. They really are. Like, there's no real way to compare them. The, the uh, Dividend M390 is a nice slim little folder. The Knockout is a, a big EDC knockout of a knife. So, yeah, they're, they're two total. I can't imagine many people will be trying to decide which one between those two to get. Um, unless you just really want something that says Kershaw and M390 about it. But, uh um, yeah, I do love the knockout though. Mine is actually, I just realized I was going to get it out and I just realized I left it in my car that is being worked on right now. So I guess it'll still be there. They're cool guys, but yeah, it's in the glove box of my car. I just realized that. So, wah, wah. um, oh yeah, cool. I, I'm glad that they, they're happy I recommended so many people to them uh, for the the knockout and M390 Ryan Ryder saying he just got one. Yeah, I was I was happy to. They're a great company. They're cool people, and they're um, they're selling a ton of those things. Uh, and they should. They are awesome. I can't believe there's still any available at all. I hope people buy them quickly enough that they order some more because it's a great great knife. <laughs> this channel is slowly turning into what, what what knife do I buy next? Whatever Brian is reviewing. I apologize for that, but I I can tell you it is uh, immensely enjoyable to spend other people's money. I kind of do like doing that. So uh, over the internet. So yeah, that's why you got the Crewware PM2. That's one of my favorite knives I own, man. I, it's it's awesome. It's just uh, I mean I like these two fancy ones a little bit more because they're fancy. But the one I carry the most right now is absolutely the Crewware PM2 since I got it. It almost never leaves my pocket. I didn't have it in my pocket today because I was carrying this that uh, Viper that I had out earlier because uh, it's Formula One season and I'm superstitious and I really wanted uh, Sebastian Vettel and his Ferrari to win. So I carried some Italian carbon fiber because it it's Italian cars and they're all made of carbon fiber and that's, yeah. I'm weird like that. Isn't that weird? That's weird. Uh, have I seen the, the Wii 811A Tai Chi? Yes, I almost got one. I almost, almost did, but I was trying to save up for something a little ridiculous, and then, um, I missed out on it, and now my car broke, and I wish I'd have just bought the Tai Chi, because it was cheaper than what I'm gonna get eventually, but now I don't even know if I can afford that. It's still ridiculous, and it's really annoying. I can't believe my car, my faithful Subaru failed me. But, um, and I just got it fixed for something else completely unrelated the other day. And now that broke, so. Oh, well. Let me, uh, just, eh. Um, I already watched Silverstone, please no spoilers. I didn't, you know, no, I won't, I won't, I, I know, it's, uh, why, no spoilers, it's the modern internet. When people get mad about sports spoilers, they're, 
it's just ridiculous. I will tell no spoilers pre proto, but I will tell you that um uh Lewis Hamilton declared his uh homosexuality and then ascended into heaven. I don't know if that's a spoiler or not or anything. Um but that actually happened. He is uh, Lewis Hamilton ascended into heaven as a homosexual at the end of the race. So I don't know if that's a spoiler, but I'm just telling you that's 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 what actually occurred. Um have I ever broken a knife? Um, yeah, not recently though. Not of the nicer stuff that I've gotten. I mean, a little bit, but you know, I've had I've had to send a couple back, but it wasn't like I didn't snap a blade or anything like that. Um, um, yeah. But honestly, I don't know anyone who watches F1, so it can't be spoiled. Yeah, there's no whole lot, not a whole lot of us F1 fans out here. There is uh, uh, Frankie and Bird are big F1 fans too. They have a big Scuderia Ferrari banner above their. Uh, um, their little station and uh, we talk about f1 a lot um, i think f1 is the finest sport in the world and i will fight anyone who says differently even though it sucks it's the best sport there is so um you've broken a crap ton of knives i mean i do a lot of stuff with mine but i'm doing mostly i would say my most of my stuff is medium duty i mean i've i've broken like fixed blades out in the woods and stuff you know but uh doing ridiculous things but not my normal edc kind of knives so um so far we has been hit or miss in quality control for me but when they get it right their knives are great i've actually been had really good luck with we i mean honestly i will be honest a lot of times when i'm getting uh wheeze in they know who it's for so i may be getting really nice ones uh but i've had no issues with we uh quality control whatsoever not a single one did you order a TRM Neutron? Yes, I did. I had to hit refresh 21 times. I know that because they told me. But, um, yeah, I got I got one. It should be here. I think they're going to ship end of this week or something like that. So uh, the green one looks like a Ganzo. It's a Best Tech prototype. They do this silly green on their prototypes. I don't like it either. But uh, And they do this B-Blast finish that they, they're not going to do it in production anymore. But um, what scales did I get? I got the uh, Black Micarta. So I was going to get a second set of scales too, but the system was being weird and there, I knew there was only eight of them available. So I really wanted to get it. Uh, I got a silly request. My wife thinks I'm wasting my time watching knife reviews. Can you please do, do a shout out to my wife, Olga? Uh, hello, Olga. Thank you so much for letting your husband uh, waste time watching knife reviews. We, we really do appreciate it, but he is absolutely wasting his time. We're all wasting our time, but you got to have a fun way to waste your time, so it's okay. But thank you, Olga. I'm sure you are a lovely, lovely woman. Uh, are you going to get the Rex 45 PM2? I'm uh, probably not the PM2. Uh, I do want one of the Rex 45s because I've never had one, and I may actually, if I get one, I'd probably actually get the military because I don't have a military, and the Para 3 isn't my jam. So uh, even though I'm winding up owning a pair of three again that I don't really particularly want to, but I am. So, uh, yeah, I shipped my pair of three to Europe and it floated around in the mail for two months. And now it's finally sitting at my local post office for me to go and collect back again. So, uh, favorite steel, uh, probably M390 or 20CB, which are supposed to be the same. Uh... What's the hardest steel for you personally to sharpen? S90V is the hardest that I have tackled of, of any significance. It takes a very long, 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 long time. It's not hard, I guess. It's just, it's so, it's, well, it is hard. It's, it's not difficult. It's, but it's so hard that it takes a really long time. So, uh, yeah. Um, you love the military. You got the 204 P knife. Yeah, I've never had a military. You no, know, I don't think I've even handled a military, which is so weird. I don't know why I never have. But uh, I think if I get one, I'll if I get any of the Rex 45s, I'll get that one just because, just because I don't have one, and it would be kind of cool. Um, I have two PM3s only because Maxima and M390. Yeah, I've got just the S110V, and I sold it. I shipped it off, and I don't know what happened. We'll see if there's a note explaining it, when I, but it was it bounced around forever between two places, bounced around between Jamaica, New York, and Queens, New York, for like two and a half weeks, and I kept calling USPS, and finally they agreed to send it back to my local post office. So, and it arrived 
at 4.30 in the afternoon on Saturday. I couldn't make it there before they closed, so I gotta go get it um, tomorrow morning. Um, what was the other one? Oh, you, who said they like this green? Ugh, you have poor taste, sir. This is another one. I hate the Best Tech prototype green. I think they sell knives in this color, too. That is nasty. I thought they just made the prototypes in this green so that no one would steal them. But, oh, God, you people. Why, why, do, you, why do you like that green? It's so gross. I just hate green anyway, but I really hate this green. I really, really hate it. It's just, uh, this one's easier to see it on. That's just, that is not appealing. Like, if this was a, a proposed color choice for a 70s AMC Gremlin, they would have rejected it. Ugh. Stop talking about the, yes, the green is hideous. You're right. Yeah. Military is nice, but throws me off. Keep reaching for a compression lock. Um, yeah, I would, uh, I would be the... I, I'm sure I'm going to be the same way if I ever get my hands on one. But you know what? The, the last few times I've gone out of my comfort zone with Spydercos and gotten some of the older designs like the GB2 and stuff. I freaking love my GB2. It's a great knife. So, hey, yeah, screw it. I'll, I'll try a military. Um, I don't think... I don't think... Does anybody really hate blue? I don't think anybody really hates blue as much as several, many people will hate weird... I have crumbs all over my table. I was eating pizza before this. Um... I think a lot of people hate this, I don't know, beetle green. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, green is definitely more, yes, blue is a very safe color. I will say that, yeah. I'm a, purple's my favorite color, but uh, that's also a bit polarizing, not as much as some shades of green, but I tried to switch my business colors for my um, bicycle site over to, purple and people were not happy about it so I went back to the blue but as you can see Slicey Dicey logo is purple because so I thought I'm just going to start out that way and then nobody can complain the blue on the Practic liner locks are awesome yeah it is cool uh, the, I, I do kind of like that and I don't normally like flashes of color like that but that, that they actually do look pretty good I've got one around here somewhere right within arm's reach yeah I do like the blue on the Practic and I I was going to have to wait another week to get a black one, so I just got the tan and not thinking I'd like it and knowing that I know the people at Wii and I can just get black scales if I wanted, but I'm not going to change it. I do actually like the tan and blue. It doesn't look too bad together. I actually kind of like it. See a lot of blue that ends up seeming more purple. Yeah, it does. It's always that way with shades of stuff. I have, um, oh, you dyed your roadie purple? That must look kind of cool. Uh, yeah, that happens a lot with, uh, my, I'm not colorblind exactly, just a few different colors, and I have two or three different shirts that I insist are blue and my wife insists are purple, but, or maybe it's vice versa, I don't remember, but, um, uh, but yeah, oh yeah, I'd love to have a purple roadie, now you just have me thinking about it, I actually sold my orange roadie, because I never carried it once, I got it, uh, it's a combo deal thing, it was something from Blade HQ, you bought a bunch of stuff and they threw in a roadie, but, um, I have a gray one that I use all the time. It was on my keys till just, I don't have my keys here, I'd show you, just this past week I got a uh, Spider Co, which one is it? They don't make it anymore, Grasshopper. The, that's cool. Still enjoying the mini sheepdog, abso freaking lutely It is a great, great knife. I love that thing. Where is it? Yep, still, this is this is just such a fun, silly knife. I love the Sheepdog, guys. This thing is just so cool. The mini Sheepdog. Um, I think LTK had a, a regular Thai Sheepdog up for sale on his table sale for a good price the other day, and I almost bought it. I'm, part of me wishes I would have, and part of me is glad that I didn't because uh, my car broke. So I would have been very upset. But, uh, yeah, this is, this is pretty neat. I, I still just love this thing. Thoughts on the Gemini. I had a Gemini and I really, really liked it. Um, I had the, well, I've had both. I've had the Titanium and the Vanguard. Um, the Titanium one I sold because there's uh, not much grip on it at all and my hands don't sweat a bit. And just the texture of that, or lack of texture on that Titanium made that knife so slippery that I actually dropped it a couple times. Luckily it was always on carpet so it didn't damage it, but I dropped it a couple times and then I still wasn't going to sell it, and then somebody made me an offer I couldn't refuse, and I sold it. 
And then the um, Vanguard one was cool. I just never carried it. So uh, I put it on a table sale a while ago. So, But it is a great design. It's a really, really, really nice knife. Oh, yeah, you hung out with, with the Shabazz this morning, didn't you, Kiefer? Nice name drop there. Nice name drop. I don't I don't blame you, though. But uh, name drop in the Shabazz. But, uh, yeah, I saw his little video about the stuff that you gave him. Was that yesterday? This morning or yesterday morning? But, uh, and congrats to him. He, um, he is, uh, what is what's he at now? Uh, 50,000 subscribers. So well-deserved. I will completely credit him for why I do this channel. Because um, I watched a lot of his reviews, other people too, but mostly his reviews. And I've been through this before, but I've reviewed stuff for 20 years and I kind of thought, you know, he looks like he's having a lot of fun and I think I could do that. Let me give it a shot. And I'm um, not saying I thought I could be as good as him, but I just thought, oh, that's something I think I could do. And, you know, be a little bit irreverent and still get the information across and stuff. So he definitely inspired me to, to pony up and do this. And I'm very glad that I did. So if I ever do anything to upset you, uh, email Nick Shabazz and blame him. So, um, uh, what's my favorite GEC pattern? Oh man, I can't remember the name of it. I don't, my friend loaned it to me and I handed it back to him. I'm probably going to buy it, but God, what was that thing? A 43, I think it was kind of the bigger, the Oregon Trapper. That's the one I like. I don't remember the number, but, um, your knife addict video was fantastic too. Oh, thank you. I, I, that was, you know, I have to say though, you guys, uh, you're, um, your responses were really good on that too. So I could have done a lot more. I could have made that video like 25 minutes long, but I didn't want to. Also, a video that you guys crushed it on in the comments, by the way, I want to applaud all of you, was my stupid little kitten video. And the responses that you guys made actually made me angry because I wished I would have put those in the video. Like some of the stuff you said about the cat was so funny. Like about uh, how hard is it to disassemble and things like that. Like I should have, I should have used so many of those. It was so funny, and your kitten comments were hilarious. And I was disappointed in myself. Why I made that video, I don't think I ever explained that. Um, it was 99 degrees here that day, and my office gets really, really hot, and I have to shut the door in order to do videos because otherwise there's this big loud fan outside the door when it's hot out. And it was so hot in my office, I just couldn't do a video upstairs. And I was sitting downstairs. I have no way to mount the camera. And I just shot a stupid video of the kitten. So that's why I did it. So uh, Shabazz made a similar squirrel one recently. Oh, I didn't see that one. The review, he reviewed a squirrel. I saw the one where he reviewed a uh, plastic um, uh, a plastic knife for the... Um, from the... Uh, what was from the, like, the Continental Breakfast at his hotel? That was pretty funny. Hoping for a size comparison in the kitty video. Yeah, the um, I I uh, I was I have a bigger cat, but I couldn't get him to cooperate. I tried, trust me. But at that moment, they both still hated each other. Now they're best buds, and I could probably reshoot it and get him to lay next to the other cat. But she's a good little kitten, no? though. She's um, she's a spaz, but she's healthy and happy, and that's all that matters, I guess. So she's actually kind of fat. Never had a fat kitten before, but when you pick her up. Kind of fat better, which I guess is good. Yes, yeah, size comparison with Spider Go Delica. I'd be that that cat is so spazzy. It, he'd wind up, uh, she'd wind up with a Spider Go Delica stuck in her neck if you put a Spider Go Delica anywhere near her. Trust me, I don't flip and play with knives around that kitten. She's crazy. I will do a long term review of the kitten. That's a very good job. That's a very good idea. I will do that absolutely. I'll, I'll wait till I'll do the six month review when she's almost full size. You prefer the dog model to the cat model. I'm I'm 50-50. Like, yeah, I mean, I've been much more... When I've had dogs that died, I was much more upset than when any cat died. But um, I just I just lost my dog of 11 years in October of last year. And um, that's why my hand is all cut up. She bit me as she was being put down. Another reason why I started this channel, she bit me and I couldn't do my other job. So I had nothing to do for about a month and a half because my hand didn't work very well and I just started doing knife videos. But um, yeah, right right before that, we wound up inheriting a cat, a, a little six-month-old cat that my son wound up bringing here, which is a long story. And um, 
uh, I really fell in love with that cat because it was I needed something. It, she he was a good distraction, and I love that cat. And then this one, my daughter dragged in the house. So thank you, thank you. I, it, it was very sad losing Blue. She was um, Australian cattle dog, amazing dog. But yeah, she was drugged up, getting put down, and her last act on this earth was to clamp down on my hand. She didn't know what she was doing, um, but. She just uh, got me good and um, broke my thumb. She's that strong of a dog. So, <laughs> yeah, no, she definitely needed to go. It wasn't, uh, we, we held on to her for, I think, just the right amount of time. And she was so smart. She told us it was time to go. I, I don't feel like I made the decision. She made the decision. She came and told me it was time to go. So, went and, went and had it done. But uh, she's, uh, she's greatly missed, will never be replaced, and I will never try to. But, um uh, Getting the cat doing after, I mean, I don't understand. Oh, getting the cat after, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get what you mean, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, the last love bite. <laughs> Blue never gave, well, I guess she used to do little nibbles and stuff. But yeah, no, she wasn't a love biter. She was, she never, she only ever actually, she would bare her teeth and act ferocious and crazy at, any, at people. But she never, she only actually ever bit one guy and it was a stupid ass uh, cable in installation guy. And he took a, drill and went at her like as a joke and she jumped up and grabbed his wrist and shook it until he dropped it and luckily he was wearing a thick carhartt so she didn't get through to break the skin and he apologized he goes that was my fault i'm a dumbass and i was like yeah you're a dumbass that was the cable guy yeah oh man my dogs hate the fedex guy yep well my dog we still have one left she goes nuts at any delivery person but she's a little poodle she can't hurt anybody little poodle effing pincher mix so uh yeah uh she was a uh, australian cattle dog my one that passed away yeah that cable guy deserved it and he knew it but you're a fedex guy keeper oh do i have some issues with you i'm glad you're not my i, I wish i guess i should say i should say i wish you were my fedex guy my fedex guy can suck a bag of dicks he I call an order for, you know, for packages to come and get picked up and they don't, or he shows up and they're like, oh, that's too big. It doesn't fit in the truck. I'm like, what? Routinely. Yeah, he's an idiot. He is a complete first class idiot. And you know, I don't, I don't expect you FedEx guys to show up at exactly the same time every day, but uh, sometimes it's 9 a.m. and sometimes literally he shows up at 7.15 at night. I get that when it's holidays, but like, on a Thursday in April. Why are you not showing up till 7.15? I just don't... I don't expect you to show up the same time every day, but those of us who get a lot of stuff delivered, like who work at home and get a lot of packages delivered, just to go roughly, be roughly the same time, between 10 and noon, something like that, so I kind of have an idea, so I don't sit around my house all day waiting for stuff. I'm sure you're not like that, Kiefer. I'm sure that you are a, su a supremely awesome... A FedEx guy, and I will say, nice things I always do for the FedEx guy is all my boxes, if they're heavy, always have handholds because I know that a happy FedEx guy is a gentle FedEx guy, so I always do do that, and I try and tip them at the end of the year if I can. But mine's a dick. He doesn't get tipped. My UPS guy does. He, my UPS guy's great. But uh, my uh, yeah, this is this guy acts annoyed that I'm a regular. My FedEx guy delivers stuff to my hoarder neighbor every time. <laughs> uh, I had, uh, I, I still get problems with, um, I've moved three times in the last nine years, and it was just trying to find the right size place for our family. And uh, they're all the same zip code. So a lot of people who ship me stuff don't bother to look and see what, um, that the address is different. They just look at Rochester, New York, and the zip code, and they assume it's the same address, and they send it to one of my old houses. Which is so freaking annoying. Your FedEx guy threw your phone on your porch and shattered it. Well, sorry about that. I'm sure it wasn't Kiefer. Or was it? Intrigue. I'm sure Kiefer is a great FedEx guy. He lived here for 20... <laughs> what is your neighbor hoard? Do you know exactly what it is? is? Is it like something normal, like knives? Or is it uh, like dead cats? 
You never know what these people are going to. Uh, you shouldn't have opened your mouth. Kiefer for FedEx president. I agree. Yeah, let's uh, let's let's all give us give us your your real name, Kiefer, and we will all call FedEx and say how great you were, and uh, get you promoted to the the uh, president. Is it president of FedEx? I don't know what the title is for FedEx. Is it like the Grand Wizard of FedEx? I don't know what the what the the Grand Poobah of FedEx is called. It should be Grand Poobah of FedEx. When I was a cable installer, this guy hoarded books and cats, and all the books smelled like pee. Yep. Luckily, both my cats are very, 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 um, very clean. All right, I'm going to call and say, this guy, Keith, here's what his thumbnail look on YouTube looks like. He is the best FedEx person ever. You should promote him. <laughs> 20 boxes of assurance protective undergarments. That's a lot. All just sitting on her front porch. You know what? At least she has. At least she's okay with what her situation in life is. I guess. I guess that's that's all right. That's that's. She's she's confident. She's fine with who she is. Make sure to mention he knows Nick Shabazz. <laughs> I think I think that uh, Kiefer, you should get a uh, instead of the. Um, uh, well, I am Nick Shabazz t-shirts that he sells. You should get a uh, I know Nick Shabazz t-shirts. That would be awesome. Yeah, if you were president of FedEx, just issue everybody a really good slicer knife and they'd be, all be so happy. Ish issue everyone like Mannix 2 Lightweights or uh, Wii Rectifiers or something and everybody would be very, very happy with you. Ever thought of ordering a custom Benchmade off their site? No, I don't think so. They don't really appeal to me that much. I, If I'm going to get a custom, I'm going to get a custom. I don't think I would get a, a custom Benchmade. It's not even the prices that scare me away. It's just it's just not. I could, wouldn't, didn't wanna, wouldn't want to drop that much with just a Benchmade name on it. Because I'm a snob. But I am thinking about a, a custom. If my car is shockingly cheap tomorrow then maybe I would uh, maybe I'd get one but we will see and you will see it when it is it's not a new one or anything it's something that a lot of people have but I've wanted one for a long time make sure the issued knives are green for the less desirable workers <laughs> you can go on a scale be like oh he issued a knife yeah but it's the green one in failure review to get one yeah, I wouldn't be able to show anybody any cuts on my hands. S110V or S90V? Um, I think was slightly S110 because it's a little easier to sharpen, but I have more S90 knives. But um, I've had really good luck with S110 not being that super difficult to keep in shape, where S90, if you let it get dull, it's a huge pain in the arse. Although I just bought an S90V uh, Manix 2 and lightweight, and that's going to be the one I carry all the time, so... Um, yeah, I want to know that too. Was Nick wearing a Batman mask when you met him? Why didn't I ask that first? <laughs> no, he was out in public. It wasn't a Batman mask. He was wearing a little small, like, Robin-style mask when he was out walking around. He's not a weirdo. He wouldn't wear the full Batman regalia. I, we did a sketch once. I wrote a comedy sketch, and we did it about... Uh, um, what did we call it? It was like, uh, it was like Batman and he just wasn't, he just, um, wasn't really feeling it. And he had like a crisis of confidence and he just kept, um, like calling 911. So he'd show up like in the bat car and everything. And then he'd go running up to fight crime and he would chicken out at the last minute and hide in the bushes and call the cops. I thought it was really funny. It got cut from the show though, but I thought it was hilarious. And it's actually something that I actually, I, it happened. I actually, kind of did that i was kids were setting off fireworks in my neighborhood and i bravely followed them to their home all these teenagers and then i hid in the bushes across the street and called the cops <laughs> so, i was like i'm batman it's like i'm not batman i'm a complete pansy i'm hiding from teenagers teenagers frighten me I'm, I'm not ashamed i'm not ashamed to say it nothing scares me more than a teenager they are terrifying individuals especially british ones oh my god they're so scary You know, it was like Josh Gad. 
I don't know why you pictured that either. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no clue what he looks like. I assume he's a small Italian guy from his voice, but but all I really know. And his his quote unquote little bitch hands. What other knife tubers do you communicate with? Uh bird birdshot a, a bit. Um I talk to Dr. Frunky pretty regularly. Um obviously uh Zelric and, and uh Nick Stasa. Uh, love them knives. We talk. LTK and I talk all the time. I've bought a lot of stuff through him. Um, JT's Knife Life and uh, Eugene Kwan. Actually, Eugene Kwan and I just started a really cool thing that um, I'm excited about. And that video will be up on Tuesday. We're doing now. And tell me, I'm going to wait a minute and see in the comments. Tell me what you guys think of this. I guess you'll know more when you see the first video. We're doing what we call a blind swap. So we're sending each other a knife to review and we have no idea what the hell it is and you just have to open the box and review it right then and um he sent me something really freaking awesome i will say and i'm sending him something pretty awesome back but then i'm gonna try and do that with more more knife youtubers we're we're just gonna from watching each other's videos get an idea of what they like send them something we have that we think they'd like and you just open the box like an unboxing review and then just do it so um yeah Make sure you heard about this channel back in the day from Pete. Yeah, Pete got me about 400 subscribers from that. So I, I love Pete too. Pete and I, yeah, Pete, I haven't talked to Pete in a couple months, but we, we, I love his videos and I just haven't had a reason to talk to him. It's nothing that I don't, I'm not upset with him or anything. He's a, he's a cool dude. Yeah, I like Pete a lot. I think if Pete and I lived in the same town, we'd be very, very good friends. I love his videos and he has the same weird sense of humor as me. Next podcast coming up. I wish I had an answer for that. I, I really don't. Um, the Zelric is super busy right now. I've been super busy. And uh, getting all three of us together is is kind of a pain in the ass. Um, but we are going to keep doing it. It may, The format may change a bit. It may wind up being a lot shorter. I don't know. We've thrown some things out and then we all get busy and we don't have time to do it. So I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I love doing it. And I was I was proud of the first two episodes we did. But uh, it's, it's really hard to get all three of us together. All three of us are pretty busy guys, and it's just, uh, I want three people, though. I don't like two-person podcasts. I like three people, and it's it's hard to do, so. Um. Besides your Manix 2s and your Parrot 2, what's your favorite EDC? Um, probably, uh, right now, my ZTO 609, but, um. Why don't I sell my knives on Etsy or something? Yeah, I've thought about doing an Etsy. It's, um, or somewhere. But I mostly just do them on these videos, and then whatever doesn't sell, I put it up on Blade Forum. So I feel like I've got a good venue to get stuff sold. I did, I do really well. I mean, God, I put up 15 knives, and I sold all but five. So, yeah. Vape of the day, same as it always is. My, uh, just my little... Any go thing with the plainest plain juice I can find. I can't remember what it's even called. Tsunami tobacco. Um, do you think you'll eventually get to handle a Todd knife before the rest of the world? I goddamn well better. I can tell you that. No, uh, no, I, I know that I'm going to get one of the... He, he hooked me up and, you know, everybody knows that Zelric is the guy from... Um, for the, this, the wee guy. He got me a wasabi. He made sure I got one of those, and he's gonna make—he'll make sure that I get a Roxy. So I'm very happy about that. Um, no, it's the same. By knife forms, I don't give my subscribers a chance. No, I—I I put them up on the thing. I put them up on the videos, and then I give it a few days. And if they don't sell, then I put them on Blade Forms. I always give my readers a chance first. So, yeah, you're my first Patreon on, on Patreon. Yeah, that's uh, not that many. I've been uh, uh, don't have a whole lot yet. I need to I need to push that more. So, campfire is a vape flavor. So it, it actually tastes like a campfire. I'm not sure that's cool. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure. I, I don't like my vape to taste like anything. Yeah, I probably had one, and now it probably says one. <laughs> so thank you, thank you. I do appreciate it. But uh, yeah, I, I need to get to get something to get people to do that. I think about I think about just promoting the regular PayPal more often, but I don't know. Actually, rather than just money, it'd be cool if I just like getting stuff in the mail to review. That's a lot of fun. My uh, PO box is down below, and I and I have gotten some stuff. I did get I've gotten two knives just anonymously in the mail. I don't know who the hell they came from, 
So, uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, the channel's doing good. So, uh, I'm happy with, I'm very happy with the amount of subscribers the channel has. So, that's what really matters, isn't it? And I am monetized now. Sorry if you're going to see ads on the channel, but that's what you got to do. You don't make much money off of that, though. That's a pretty small amount of money. Um, yeah, if you have anything you want to send me to review, just please, I, I would ask. Um, if you're just send me something for giggles for free or if it's something silly and you want to surprise me, just send it. But if it's something you really want me to review, um, please email me first and ask me to make sure it's either something that I haven't reviewed or something that might be illegal around here or something like that. So, uh, um, smoky and sweet flavor. Yeah, see, I don't like any flavor at all in my vape. I want it completely, completely plain. But, oh, for a battle to the death. Oh, you got something for me. Oh, that, that sounds really ominous. You want that mini wolf pup? Well, tough crap. I'm not selling it anytime soon and you can't get one. So, meh. Sorry, Mark. It's, but yeah, God, this thing is great. I, I really love it. You're one of my favorite YouTubers, please. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. And I have no, no intentions whatsoever on stopping that, so. I mentioned it before in a comment on your last battle to death. I would love to pretend that I know what you're talking about, but uh, comments blur together to me, so I, I do not remember that. I used to pretend that I remember people's names and pretend that I remember people that they said. So, uh, yeah, I don't, um, uh, but I don't anymore. That always got me into trouble, pretending to remember somebody and not and getting caught. So now I'm just honest and say, I don't, I know your face. I don't remember your name or I don't remember you saying that. Uh, just put straight VG cost penny cost pennies. Well, I yeah, this does have nicotine in it still, but you're excited for the neutron versus rectifier battle. That's so am I. That's that one's gonna be a while though, because I have to actually fully review the neutron first, and um, I bet it's gonna be pretty pretty slim. I was wondering if there's a vape that has caffeine in it. That sounds very dangerous. Haven't seen a YouTube ad in forever. Oh, you got red. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't have the red, and I'm a YouTube creator, but I don't have the red. I don't mind just hitting skip ad after five seconds. It's fine with me. Uh, other than that, most of my knives are ones I bought because I saw them here. Yep, I've, I've spent a lot of your money. Quite happy with that. So, uh, Any new slip joint in mind? I need to get off my arse and get a GEC, and I just always can't decide on which one, and then I don't, and... Um, but yeah, there will be, um, and then I, I, uh, I sold my, um, that's one of the reasons why I sold my, uh, Benchmade Proper, because I love the Proper, it's a great knife, it's a proper knife, but, uh, it was to get an actual, real, traditional, so I'm looking at a GEC of some kind, probably be an Oregon Trapper, but I'm not, not certain yet, so, um, uh, yeah, it's much more fun spending you guys' money than it is mine, I have to say, it's a joyous thing. But this weekend was expensive. Car broke. My wife needed a new computer. I had to get new sunglasses because I'm uh, I have an eye condition and have to have to wear sunglasses. So uh, I bought the same sunglasses I buy all the time. I'm on my third pair of these, I think. They just and that Oakley. Well, I don't remember which ones they are, but I get the same ones every time. Um, how about reviewing some multi tools? Yeah, I I have stuff that I've been meaning to do for EDC kind of reviews, but I keep getting so many knives coming in that it's just I've wound up. I keep meaning to branch out and then not having time to. But uh, I would love to review. I do have several multi tools that I could review, but um, I just have to keep folk. The knives keep coming so fast and furious. So uh, the GEC seventy one bullnose. Yeah, that was another one I thought about. I want one of the larger ones, but. I'm kind of leaning towards that Oregon Trapper because I actually got to spend a lot of time with one and I really, really liked it. And my buddy has one with a really cool, um, like, torched bone handle thing that's uh, he would actually sell me for a good price. But, um, but would prefer them to get away from 1095. Yeah, so would I, but they're never going to. That's the traditional knife steel of choice, so that's what they're, they're never going to stop using that until... The earth freezes over. But, you know, I, I've been... I do have several cases and stuff now. I'm getting kind of into cases. I do like a lot of those. But, uh, 
And that was one that I got a gift. I got somebody gave me a case mini trapper, which was out of the blue. Didn't say who it was, who it was from. I still don't know. If it's one of you guys, I'd love to know so I could say thanks. But um, yeah, you like the patina. I, I hate patina on knives. I'm weird like that. But uh, unless I did it on purpose. But uh, all right, we are a case. Yeah, I've got case makes some nice stuff. What are you talking about? I have one case that sucks. But I've got some other ones that's, that are way better. Uh, where are they? Not within reach. But yeah, I've got a trapper lock and a mini trapper, and I love them both. They're the chestnut bone. They look really great. Um, so, all right. We've, we're here over an hour now. I think it's about time to wrap all this up. I do very much appreciate this. I like tonight. Tonight was fun. I got through all the stuff I wanted to get through much, much quicker than usual. And we just hung out and chatted about how we hate FedEx people other than Kiefer and some other great things. This is a lot of fun. I was, uh, I was really happy. So, uh, the, what about the knife center exclusive? I don't remember that one is off, off the top of my head of the Manix too. So, but let's, let's wrap this up. Um, I thank you guys so, so much for hanging out very much. Enjoyed it. Uh, we'll be back in two weeks time and hopefully fingers crossed. I'm going to have some really cool stuff to show you. We shall see. Got the new camera set up. I didn't bump it at all this time. You see that? I can move my hands all over. I'm happy about that. So that's all tested out. So uh, you'll be seeing steadier videos in the future. So you guys have a good night. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and keeping me company for an hour. Have a good one.